Morning Lux for Last Family today is Wednesday, May 31st. Y'all, can y'all believe we are already at the end of May? Like, this year is like zooming on by. Anyway, I want to come and do a thrift haul with you of the items I thrifted from the last video that I didn't get a chance to show you. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. So the colors that were on sale were blue, green, red, and white. And I believe blue and red were 75% off, white and green were 50% off, yellow was full price. So just keep that in mind when I'm showing you these items, if they still have the tags attached, which I think most of them do. The first item I have is this scarf. Y'all, I am for some reason <laughs> having a love affair with scarves lately. I don't know what it is, but this is a 100% um, silk scarf. And look at the the detail on that like look how pretty that is this was $5.99 and like I said it's 100% silk I don't know who this is by there is no um, name on it or either the person who donated removed it but this is just beautiful it, it has like an ombre design if you can see that where it goes from gray into light pink into the darker shade of pink this can be worn as a as a scarf as it is it could be worn as a top it could be worn just so many ways but got this for $5.99 from the thrift store all right second item i got is also a scarf this one is blue it has the same sheer floral design this one was $4.99, so either this was half off or 75% off. Blue was either half or 75%. I can't remember, but it was a color that was on sale. Now, this one is 100% silk and velvet, and it's by a company called Silk Lore. And whoever bought this originally, I guess they decided to not wear it because... The original tags are still attached and like i said this is silk and velvet but look how beautiful that is look at that like you could this could be a top where you can wear a bralette under it but it's really really beautiful i love it i wish y'all could feel the quality on it but got this for either half off of the 4.99 or 75 percent off the 4.99 <laughs> From the thrift store keeping with the sheer theme y'all can see sheer was like my thing that day in the thrift store this is by uh, this is a shirt by the brand maggie mcnaughton and this was 7.99 i believe blue was half off i'm pretty certain so this was four dollars that i paid for it this is also 100 percent silk and the contrasting material on it this right here is not velvet but it has a velvet feel now this right here y'all i bought this specifically to take on my trip that i'm going on in just a couple of months from now and because it, it, it's going to fit the vibe so well and i just love like the detail on it like look at that and the outfit that i have in my head i want to wear a pair of lace wide leg pants and i've been looking online for a pair of wide leg lace pants i can't find any so i think i'm just going to have the um lady that i use to tailor my clothes i think i'm just going to have her custom make me a pair i've already seen the material at joanne but this the lace lace wide leg pants with this top with the pair of barely there black heels i love this so much and um yeah, I got this for $4 from the thrift store. All right, next item I got is this dress. This is a dress by Mac Studio. And this particular day in the thrift store, they had a lot of Mac Studio dresses. I'm not really familiar with that brand, but this was $7.99. It's just this really pretty dainty wrap dress. And I said that I was going to pair it with my strap up heels because this is like a midi length or if i don't want to wear white heels i can wear my red pumps like if i'm going into the office and i don't want to wear a strap up sandal i can wear a red pump with it um or i can wear a nude pump with it so my options are pretty endless when it comes to this dress as it um 
relates to matching shoes, but um, have not tried this on yet. I have the feeling that it's gonna be just a little big because it is an extra large, but hopefully because it's a wrap dress, I can manipulate it to fit me um, the way that I want. But got this for $7.99 from the thrift store. All right, next item I got is this two-piece suit. It is by John Mayer. And I actually have been watching this suit for quite a while. Um, the past three trips that I took to the thrift store, this suit was there. It was $12.99 but I got it for half off, so I paid $6.50 for it. To be honest, I really only got it for the blazer because I like how long the blazer is, and then I like the red and gold buttons that it has on the side as well as the front. It is single-breasted, and it has a pretty unique scallop lapel that I really do love, and this, like I said, it hangs long, as you can see as the rest of my blazers right here. So I do have another blazer in my closet that is very similar to this. The only difference is it does not have the gold buttons. So I may actually rotate that out, but got this for $6.50 from the thrift store. I did get one other thing. I got my husband a um, um, Jacksonville Jaguars jersey. It's the good quality thick one. The ones that are like 120 $150 in the store. I was able to get it for $15 in the thrift store, so he was pretty excited about that. I've already washed it, dried it, and it's hanging up in his closet, but that is gonna be all for my thrift haul of the thrift trip that you saw in the last video. So that's family here is my chair i have not opened it just yet um i guess now is a good a time as any so let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like Alright y'all, this is what we looking like. I'm not totally in love with the chair, but it's going to stay for now. Um, I am, however, thinking about getting some different curtains because I want some taller curtains. I just don't like um, the positioning of those. So I'm going to get some longer curtains and a longer rod and I am going to move those mirrors. I'm saying to y'all, I'm going to keep this chair to be quite honest, this chair honestly might be gone by the weekend because I like it. So update y'all, I hate the chair. <laughs> I absolutely hate the chair. I have been online looking all day for new seating. I hate it. I hate it. This right here, I took it just to see if I added a little side table, if I would like it. I don't. It's giving daycare center seating. Daycare center time out seating. Daycare center, your mom is late picking you up, so sit right here seating. Hospital waiting room. Like, it's just not giving. This is a closet room. I, I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Let's go. 
Today is Saturday, June 3rd, I think. As you can see, it's raining. It started pouring down raining as soon as I got out of my car to pump my gas. I'm trying to leave the gas station. I'm just now leaving my house for the day. Y'all know that it's totally not like me. Uh, my husband was off today, so I stayed home, you know, chilled with him until it was time for him to go to work. I don't even know what I'm about to do. I just know that I'm trying to do something because, you know, like I tell y'all, I work from home. So by the time Fridays roll around, I am really suffering from cabin fever and I just want to get out of the house. So I don't know what we're going to get into. The first order of business is to stop and get me something to eat. And um, we'll see what else we get into. white leather sleeves the 
this the rest of the jacket is blue and it has this big old american flag on the back i love it now it does need to be clean it does and um i'm gonna have to take it to a leather specialist to get it clean because if y'all remember me saying a while ago some of my thrifted leather pieces i had taken it to a cleaner's um, way back when and whoever he sent it to messed up my leather to the point of where of, of whatever they cleaned it with I think they washed it to be quite honest because I, it feels like they washed it and put it in the dryer because when the leather came back to me the suppleness of the leather was completely stripped and it almost felt like the, the leather was on its way to dry rot. like it just it was they absolutely ruined my leather so um I'm gonna have to take a let take it to a leather specialist and let them clean it, but the jacket is so nice. Um, right now I'm headed to Walmart. I need to still look for a rug. I have not done that yet. Y'all, I decided to come here instead. I was passing by the, on my way to Walmart and saw this and said, "Let's go here." These would look so good outside by the pool. So what I'm in here looking for, y'all, is um, a bench. <laughs> um, I don't really come to this store very often because it's kind of far away from my house, but it kind of reminds me of a garden red, if you all remember garden red from back in the day, if you had one of those, it kind of reminds me of that I honestly think that's what it is under a different name but we want to see if they have anything and if not it was not a wasted trip because Walmart is right on the way y'all that's cute right there this would make a cute little table imagine this with a piece of glass on top this is really cute as a little side table This is so pretty to me, oh my goodness. And it's only $99. Love it. All right, y'all, let's see what they got. Ooh, I would love this if this was a bench. Here are the rugs. I don't see anything that's jumping out at me. Hmm. Looking for something that's kind of understated but has a design pattern like this. seven sizes that I need. Let's see if I can find one that I like. Mm. Oh, child. These rugs stink. They don't stink like nasty. They just stink like like um, smell like bubble. You know how um, rubber smells, new rubber smells, that's, that's what it smells like, it stinks.
only $79.99. No. If you doubt it, leave it. Alright, y'all, I found one. Let me show it to you. So this is what I was looking for. One that had this design just like this. This is gonna do just fine. And it's only $49.99. Y'all, I really like this one right here. Oh my, but look how big it is. It sounds like it Why is it so much bigger? I like this one right here the best, y'all, but it's, it, it say this one is a five by seven, but it can't be, cause this one says it's a five by seven. Oh, five foot by seven foot. This one is five three by seven. Oh, okay. Damn, I like this one better. All right, y'all. I am here at Crumble Cookie. I decided to stop and get um my husband some cookies. I don't think he's ever had Crumble before. I know he's had um what is that Insomnia cookies, which I don't particularly like. Um, I'm not a real big fan of Crumble either, but. My husband is a heavy sweets eater and um, cookies especially. So sometimes I surprise him with um, nice sweet cookie, specialty cookie treats. Um, but all the time I'm always getting him like ice cream and, you know, stuff like that. Y'all see that when I get that for him. But I'm here at Crumble Cookie. I think their cookies are sold by the flavor of the week or something like that. I don't know, child, but... We gonna go in here, see what they got. All right, y'all, here are the cookies I got from Crumble Cookie. They were actually still warm when they gave them to me. Of course, they've cooled off by now because I um, had to take the drive home. Anyway, this is a, I think he said it was a chocolate cake. This is for my husband. Y'all, fun fact about me, I don't like chocolate cake at all. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like it at all. But my husband loves chocolate cake. His favorite baked cookies are chocolate chip cookies his favorite store-bought cookies are oreo double stuff so i got him two chocolate chip cookies and this one i'm going to eat half of this one and give the other half to my son it's called the biscoff cookie butter i think is what it was called i mean just looking at it it looks terribly sweet but these are the cookies from crumble cookie that i got for him and i'm sure he's probably going to dive into this one first tonight when he gets home from work all right y'all i am back home let me show you what i got from the thrift store and then we are going to put down the new rug to see if i like it all right so the first thing i got is the orange pantsuit i was telling you about by um bill blast and on camera is coming up well actually you know what? on camera it is coming up it's true color surprisingly but these are the pants they are wide leg like i was telling you and it has a chiffon feel but it's not chiffon it is polyester it feels you know it's, it's like that that flowy material and then the blazer that i was telling you about is this is how it looks i was telling y'all how it doesn't have a, a button it ties and then this part right here is open let me stand back so y'all can kind of get a visual. See that? That's going to be so cute when I wear this out to dinner. And um, I'm going to be sticking this in the cleaners on Monday. Red was not on sale, so I paid $15 for this. And I thought this was well worth it. All right, the next item that I got, this is a metallic looking guest um, shirt that I got. 
And this is the one that I said reminded me of like a summer sweater. See how metallic it is, but you can also see how it's still pretty sheer. It hangs off the shoulder like this. It hangs off the shoulder like this, and then it's long sleeve. And I'm gonna wear this with um, a pair of jeans. And I'm, I'm looking at my, my pumps that I have now, and literally any pair of pumps that I have will go with this, but I think I'm gonna wear it with my Dolce & Gabbana shoes with the jeans. That way the look is still dressy, but it's still, you know, kind of casual. But this was um, marked $12.99. It was half off, so I got it for $6.50 from the thrift store. And then the last item I got was that bummer jacket. Y'all, I love this. I almost put this back. I did. I almost put it back. As a matter of fact, I did put it back. Circle of the store came back. I was like, no, nah, I want it. And if I don't get it, I'm going to regret it. So this was marked $29.99. Yellow was half off, so I paid $15 for it. And like I said, this is by the brand East West, the Panda Group. This is a old vintage brand. Um, and you can see it has the leather sleeves right here. And then it has this pretty American flag on the back. This jacket, y'all, is so nice. Like, I know it looks a little worn and tattered because it's old. It's an old jacket, but for it to be as old as it is, it's in pretty good condition. So I'm going to be sticking this in the cleaners as soon as I can find a leather specialist. But that is all I got from the thrift store. Let's go ahead and put this rug down. I'm trying to preserve the packaging as much as I can just in case I don't like it. Although, the more I look at it, the more I think I might like it. So, oh, they got it wrapped good, child. Okay, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. And I don't hate it enough to take it back, so it's going to stay. So here it is. I don't hate it enough to take it back. It is a little masculine for me, but it is what it is. I don't hate it enough to take it back. So I'm going to keep it, and um, I'm still looking for another chair. So... I want to show y'all some of the looks that I have so far or some of the pieces that I have for the looks that I have for the vacation I'm going on. I want to, I want to get you all's opinion on if you think I'm going in the right direction. The vibe I'm going for is um, chic fashionista, if that is even a thing. It's important to me that I look put together on this trip because I don't know when I'm going to go back yeah, I mean, may not even go back in this lifetime. You know what? Let me not say that because you you manifest what you put out into the world. So I'm just going to say I may not be going back anytime soon. But let me show you the looks that I have so far. Now, the first look I have is this blazer right here. This is that 100% silk blazer that I thrifted from the thrift store for $3.75. I love the colors on it. I mean, what I'm planning on wearing this with is a pair of shorts and just like a bralette underneath. These shorts are by Jones New York. I thrifted these um, as well. And you can kind of get a visual of the look that I'm going for. And then I'm just gonna pair it with these um, Steve Madden metallic heels. Y'all, when I was doing this pole pack system, which caused me to have to do a semi-purge on my master bedroom closet, I saw these in a box tucked away in the back of the closet. And I was like, well, what them is? Y'all, these were still in the box. As you can see, never open, never worn. So undoubtedly, I got these, looked at them in the box, put the lid back on the box, and tucked them away in the closet. I have had these, I know, for probably three years. That's crazy. But anyway, um, these tie up around the ankle. And I like this pop of pink because right there is a play on the pink and in that it's a play on that pink butterfly or i have the nine west rainer heel that i can wear with it as well now in my opinion and y'all let me know what y'all think because i'm wearing shorts i like the idea of a strap up heel but 
this is one of the first looks that I put together. All right, so the next look I have is this dress by the brand Kushni. Y'all, this dress is so pretty. If you watched my series that I did last year called What I Bought This Month, where I would do like a breakdown of everything that I had purchased during that month, you would have seen this dress and um, heard me tell the story behind this particular dress. Um, just a, a, a quick overview. I saw this dress years ago and I believe it was Neiman's. I can't, I can't remember where I was, but I saw this dress in Neiman. It may have even been Saks. I can't even remember anymore at this point, but it was several hundreds of dollars. And y'all know I'm a thrifty shopper. I just wasn't doing it. Well, fast forward a few years later, I saw this dress in Fifi's. And when I saw it in Fifi's, I think it was like almost $200. I can't remember y'all. It was, it was still over a hundred dollars, which was still more than what I wanted to pay. Although I, for this dress, I would have because it, I, it just came full circle of how I fell in love with it when I first saw it. I ended up not purchasing it from Fifi's, went on the real real and saw it on the real real. I waited for it to go on sale and I waited and waited. They kept discounting it, just kept discounting it. And I finally got it. I want to say I got this dress, y'all. I, I can't even remember it, but it was a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the um, original price of, of, of the original retail price. But anyway, this dress, you, I, I love how it has the eyelid detail. And then it has the distressing right here on both sides. Y'all, this dress is so pretty. I mean, look at it. The quality on it is amazing. I was going to pair this with my um, my Louboutins, but I decided not to because the dress needs to be the star of the show all on its own. So what I'm going to do is pair it with a pair of Barely There sandals, and you can already see how that goes so much better. I mean the dress is doing the talking. I don't want the shoes to do the talking. I want the shoes to do the walking and the dress to do the talking. But this is look number two. All right, this is the third look that I have. Um, it's only a partial of a completed look. And this is a, a skirt. This is a sequin skirt that I thrifted. It's one of those skirts where you can manipulate the design. Um, it's on the hanger from the cleaners, which is why it's pinned. But I, I thrifted this, I believe, for like $3.00 from Goodwill and this is going to be worn on a day where we're just out in the city. I'm going to wear it with a um, graphic t-shirt and then I'm going to pair it with my Jordan 1 Concords. This is a casual outfit that I'm going to wear with a t-shirt and um, this sequin skirt but that isn't finalized yet but I know I do want to wear it with a pair of sneakers with this skirt but this is partially look number three all right partial look number four this is just a jean skirt that i thrifted this is by bedford fair but this is a denim skirt that i thrifted and this is like a midi length but i like it because it has like the detail and going through it you probably can't see it because the lighting is kind of bad my husband still has not installed my new light but we're going to give him a pass because he work all the time. He's at work right now. But anyway, it is going to be paired with this lace top that I thrifted. This is an off-the-shoulder top. It goes like this. It's semi-cropped. See, it, 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 it doesn't come all the way over my belt, but it, it's still just a little bit cropped where you can see just a little bit of skin, and that's perfectly fine for me. But this is another look for just perusing the city with this lace top and i'm going to pair this with my louboutin sneakers and um i'm not sure which bag i'm going to carry with this to be honest my goal is to only bring two bags a day bag and a night bag um one bag that i can use when we're just out in the city and one bag that i can use when we're out for dinner but this is look number four. All right, this isn't a look, but this is um, a piece that I am bringing with me. This is a leather 
corset jacket that I thrifted for five whole dollars from the thrift store. It is by the brand Colebrook. And y'all, you can see the corset detail right here on each side. And then it has the tie in the middle. It has the tie, the corset tie going down the sleeve. And the sleeves kind of have like a, like a flare going on. This leather on this jacket feels so buttery soft, y'all. Like I said, I thrifted this for five whole dollars from the thrift store, but I don't have a look um, that I am pairing with it yet. However, it is coming with me because it'll be a compliment to literally anything that I bring. But this is piece number five. All right, the next look I want to show y'all, as you can see, I did change my top because I really want to see how this top fit. This is that metallic gold guest top that I was telling you about. And you can see it's off the shoulder. That's just my bra strap right there. Let me fix it. It's off the shoulder. It's not too revealing, but it still looks really good. I was going to pair it with these um, jeans. These are also thrifted. These are by Nine West. I like the juxtaposition between the light color metallic looking top with the dark colored jeans. Now, originally, I said I was going to pair these with my Dolce & Gabbana heels, but after I'm looking at it, I think I might want to pair these with my Fendi heels. I thrifted these from the Real Real, and these are from the 2008 Fendi Spring Collection, I believe. Look how that looks. I love how it looks. And like I said, I thrifted these from the Real Real. This is from the 2008 Fendi Spring Collection, I believe. Love that caged heel. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. Team Fendi shoe or, or Team Dolce & Gabbana shoe. Which one? All right, last but certainly not least of the outfit so far is the infamous Burberry coat that I thrifted. Y'all remember this? It has the check print. Now, the coat is going to be worn by my husband. But this part right here, it unzips. And this part is actually a cape. Now, this cape is the part that I'll be wearing. And it'll. this is going to be strictly for a photo op because it won't be cold enough to actually wear a coat. But we're bringing it because we want to try to get some good pictures. And the cape that I'll be wearing will be a nice complement to the Burberry check that's inside of the coat like this. This is the cape. This is the actual coat. But um, y'all remember when I thrifted this coat, I got it for 50% off. It was $169. I got it for $85. Um, I've had so many people try to buy this coat off of me. I'm never selling it. But those are all of the pieces that I put together so far. Of course, with my trip still being over two months away, things are subject to change things are also subject to stay the same. Outside of my trip, um, you guys know that I started this series restyling some of the our favorite high-end looks from influencers, celebrities, a combination of the two. The next series that I am going to do is going to feature, and I want y'all to tell me which one I should do, is going to feature our forever first lady, Michelle Obama, at the 2020 um, presidential inauguration of Joe Biden, where she had on that, um, where she was styled by Sergio Hudson, where she was in that all burgundy, the burgundy coat, the burgundy shirt, the burgundy pants. I mean, homegirl was doing it. I am either going to recreate that look or I'm going to recreate the look that Carl Lagerfeld wore at the 2004 um, Chanel fashion show in Tokyo, Japan, where he had on the plaid skirt, the black jacket, the white shirt, and the black tie. I really like the androgynous look of that, how it was a play on both feminine and masculine. So I'll pop up a picture of each and you all tell me which one I should recreate. But that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so before you leave. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LuxLivingFor underscore less. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!